Hello my dear students, I hope you all are fine and doing well. And in my previous video, I had a discussion on divisibility rules of some prime numbers. Now, here in this video, I am going to tell you the rules of some more numbers because these numbers are very very important for applied mathematics. First of all, be here with me for the rule of 7. Rule for 7. Oh, 7 is going to divide what kind of numbers that you have to find. It is double the last digit and subtract it from the remaining trumpet number. Means, kya hai? Second, jo last digit hota hai, iska aapko double karna hai. Units place ke digit ko hum bote hai. Last digit. Iska aapne twice karna hai. Aur baaki bacha hua jo number hai, cut ho ke jo bacha hai, usme se subtract karna hai. Here I have written one example. Ye example maine likha hua hai, ki 7 se divisibility kaise check karenge, taaki hamara time kam se kam lage. Say, 67 minus 2 into 2. This will be how much? 67 में से 4 subtract करेंगे कितना आता है? 63. 63 क्या करता है? 63 7 से divide होता है. अगर आपको further more check करना है, तो आप क्या कर सकते हैं? 6 minus 3 in your This is 0. ठीक है? 0 is divisible by every number. ये इसको divide करेगा. I am going to give you another example. Say, look here, this one more example. Aap kya likhoge? 370 minus 2 into 1. This will be how much? This will come 315. Ab aap 315 mein 13 ko alak kar do. Minus 2 into 5. Kitna aya? 21. 21 is divisible by 7. So, this number is divisible by 7. Agar aap isko practice karte rauge, to dhe dhe dhe, it will not take your time and you will become habitual to this all. Now, let me come for this rule for 11. 11 ka rule bachyo bohat hi aasaan hota hai, but bohat important bhi hota hai. Abhi mein aapko kus aur important points bhi is mein bataoonge. Say, subtract the last digit. Kitna aasaan hai? Last digit ko आप carry on subtract करते चले जाओ बार बार या क्या लिखा and और दूसरा method क्या है add and subtract the digits alternately like what मैं पहले second वाला रूल करती हूँ 3 minus 8 plus 7 minus 9 plus 7 ऐसे कर दूँगा इसको ये कितना आएगा ये minus 5 minus 2 plus 7 कितना आ गया 0 <coughs> 0 is divided by 11. 0 जो है हर नंबर का divisible. 0 से कोई भी नंबर 0 किसी भी नंबर को divide करता है. So 11 इसको divide करें. And similarly आप इसे भी try कर सकते हैं. 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 5 plus 5 5 minus 0 plus 8. देखो कितना आता है. Plus लिखो, minus लिखो, plus लिखो, minus लिखो. इसे आप calculate कर दोगे. So this will be how much ये कितना हो गया? देखो minus one इन दोनों को करो minus मैंने इन दोनों को किया इन्हें किया अब plus five हो गया और फिर ये कितना आया eight eight in five thirteen and thirteen minus this is how much thirteen minus two minus two plus thirteen कितना आ गया इन्हें so eleven is divisible by eleven this is one method you can use this method. Next is, I am talking for 13. 13 के लिए क्या है? Add 4 times the last digit. आपको last digit का 4 times इस remaining number में add करना है. Then you will get it. See, look here. हम क्या करते हैं? 5, 0, 6, 6. Plus कितना लिखे? ये last digit का 4 times. 4 into 1. ये add कर देना है. This will come how much? Yeah, I got 5070. Fifth is 507 plus 4 into 0. It's not here. Yeah, it's not here. 5070. Up, what is 50 plus 50 
ट्वेंटी एट कितना आ गया सेवेंटी एट सेवेंटी एट इज डिविजिबल बाई थ्री अगर फिर भी आपको कंफ्यूजन है तो फिर से आप कर सकते हैं इसको दो ये तो थर्टीन की टेबल सारे बच्चों को आती है सेवन प्लस ट्वेंटी एट ये भी हम इसको लिख सकते हैं ये ठीक है इसका फोर टाइम्स लिख के देन दिस विल बी डिविजिबल ऑफ थर्टीन अब ये थर्टीन के डिविजिबल आ जाते हैं सेवनटी एट इज डिविजिबल बाई थर्टीन द रूल फॉर सेवनटीन सी सेवनटीन नाइनटीन इट सीम्स very difficult these numbers are very difficult but when you are exposed to the divisibility rules of these numbers they will become very very interesting numbers because the larger numbers if you see and uh, you have to divide it by 19 or 17 23 and other numbers 29 so sometimes you find it, you feel difficult you find it difficult and it time taking here i am Uh, talking to you the divisibility rules up to 19 i will make another video for higher numbers for 23 or i will tell you the rule definitely in one video i will tell you the rule what is the logic behind this what kind of rules are there oscillators i will explain very properly see Like in seventeen, do five times the last digit and then subtract it from the remaining fractional number. And in case of ninety, what is there? Add two times the last digit. Now, now what I want to tell you, how it comes? See, sometimes I say do five times to the last digit and subtract it, and then sometimes I say add it. So how? What is there behind this? That I will tell you later on. Ah, uh, there will there are some oscillators. I will tell you about the oscillators and how to form that oscillators. That also I will definitely tell you in another video. Here, see, for seventy five times the last digits, do five times the last digit. Ah, uh, for that I have taken an example. So look at this example: three nine seven eight, three thousand nine hundred and seventy eight. This is the number. I have to uh, what do five times of this last digit and then subtract it. I mean to say three hundred ninety seven minus forty five times the last digit. This is seven. This is five. This is three. Okay, thirty five minus five times this. Thirty five minus thirty five is zero. All right. Zero is divisible by ninety seventeen because I am talking here about seventeen. Now next number again I have written. You can try this, please children. You will try this. Twelve thousand eight hundred and eighteen by this method. You will try it. Let me go for nineteen again. Very easy rule. See what to do. Add it two times to the last digit, and then then you will get. Uh, whether the number is divisible by nineteen or not, if you are again you find difficulty, then continue the process. How? See one zero one one five. I have to add two times. This one. This will become one zero one two seven. Again one zero one two plus two times forty. Two times of seven. This will become six two one. Zero, zero is also there. Now one hundred two plus how much? Two times of this. This is twelve. One hundred fourteen. Yes, one hundred fourteen is divisible by ninety. If again you find difficulty, you again can proceed the rule. Eleven plus four into two is eight. How much is this? Nineteen. Nineteen is divisible by nineteen. And there's some more rules I will discuss. I am going to tell you some very very important and interesting rules and some interesting kind of problems also. I am going to tell. I am going to tell you very very important and very interesting ever seen rules. What uh, A B plus B A is always divisible by eleven. See, we know all this, but we don't take care of this. Like I take any two digit number fifty seven. Fifty-seven plus seventy-five. A B plus B A. If I write, 
This is 132. 132 is divisible by 11. You can uh, check this 1 minus 3 plus 2. Divisibility of 11 is alternately add and subtract. This is 0. 0 is divisible by what? 11. Then next rule I have written, written again very very interesting. This is AB minus BA is always divisible by 9. See what I said. I said AB plus BA is divisible by 11. Whereas AB minus BA, uh, you have to take the greater number. This is, uh, you have to take care for that. That greater number you take first and smaller number later on. AB minus BA is always divisible by 9. If you want to make it positive, otherwise negative, also negative integers may be also you can find. Or negative integer may be is a find out curve. The quotient will always be a minus b. How interesting. See, 92 minus 29 लिखा है. आप बिना calculate करें भी, आप इसको क्या find out कर सकते हैं? अगर 92 minus 29, इसको आप 9 से divide करें, तो what will be the quotient? या find out कर सकते हैं. मैंने क्या लिखा? a minus b. I am taking this as a. मैंने बोला, जो greater digit होगा, जो बड़ा digit होता, उसे a ले दो ना, 7. तो ये 7 हो जाए. बिना calculate करें. See, this is 63. 63 से ये कितना आ गया? 7 आ गया. और अगर आप इसको 7 से divide करें, तब question क्या होगा? देखो, when, what do I mean? When 92 minus 29 is divisible by 9. Without actually dividing. हम divide नहीं करें, 9 इसको subtract करें. Then the quotient will be how much? 9 minus 2. 7. And then, if I divide it by 7, अगर मैं इसे 7 से divide करूँ, तो उस case में quotient कितना आ जाएगा? 9 आ जाएगा, क्योंकि remainder तो 0 रहना है. तो जो भी quotient आएगा, वो उसका multiple हो जाएगा, 9 का multiple. उतने times multiple हो जाएगा. So this is again one very important, very interesting rule for which we do not take care, otherwise we know this. Now I am going to discuss some different kind of problems here. This is the assignment given, very different kind of assignment this time I have written. It is find all values of A if 7, 7, 1, 8, 1, 3, A, A, 8 is divisible by 4. This way I have written these problems for you. I am going to solve one. Question number one ko hum solve karenge, baki aap karenge. See look here, this number is divisible by 4. We know the rule of divisibility for 4. What is the rule of divisibility for 4? The last two digits. These two digits means A and 8. This should be divisible by 4. Now what are the possible values of A? When this will be divisible by A? 4. So if I write A is equal to 0, this will become 0 A. Yes, definitely 0 A it is 8 which is divisible by 4. And if I write A is equal to 2, it will become 20 A. Of course, 28 is divisible by 4. And uh, if I write, what? Uh, 38, no, 38 is not divisible by 4. Uh, and let me write 4, 4, if I write 48, yes, 48 is divisible by 4. Then if I write 5, this will become 58. 58 is not divisible by 4. And uh, after that, what? I can write 6, 68 is divisible by 4, 78 not divisible by and 8. Again I can write 8. So the values of A are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Because if I write digit 7 here that will not be divisible by 4. And if I write 9 again, not if I write 9 so that will again not be divisible by 4. Four. So, these are the possible values of A. This is the answer. So, this way you will find the answer and please you will send it to me. Thank you.